Namaste. This video is for class 9 students and children you will be learning poem 2 Wind from your Beehive textbook. This poem was originally written by Subramani Bharati, a great Tamil poet famous for his patriotism in the pre-independence era. This poem was later translated to English by A.K. Ramanujan, a Kannada and English poet well known for his translation of classical and modern poetry. Wind is a natural phenomenon. In this poem, the poet talks to the wind. Come, let's move to the poem. Wind, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. Here, the poet requests the wind to come softly. He requests the wind not to break the shutters of the windows and not to scatter the papers. He further requests the wind not to throw down the books which are kept on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. In the first four lines, we saw that the poet requested the wind humbly to blow softly and gently. In these lines, we could see that the poet is showing the wind the destruction made by it. He shows the wind that the wind has thrown all the books down. And the wind has even torn the pages of the books. And the wind has brought the rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at wigglings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind god winnows and crushes them all. In these lines, the poet says that the wind pokes fun or makes fun at the people or things which are very weak. Frail means weak or delicate. So the wind crumbles or crushes the weak houses, doors, rafters, wood and bodies. Not only that, it also crumbles the weak lives and it also crumbles the hearts of the people. He says that the wind god winnows. Winnows means blows and it crushes everything and everybody. How does it happen? When the wind blows, it brings the rain with it. And the weak houses or doors or rafters or wood crumble and break. Because of the destruction caused by the wind, the heart of the poor people crumble and break. He won't do what you tell him. So come, let's build strong homes. Let's joint the doors firmly. Practice to firm the body. Make the heart steadfast. In these lines, the poet motivates the poor people or the people who are very weak. He says that the wind is not going to obey us. So let us act according to the wind. The poet advises the people to be strong. Only then we can save ourselves from the wind. We should build strong houses with firm doors. Our bodies and hearts should also be strong. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. The poet says that by strengthening ourselves, we could be friends with the wind. The wind blows out the weak fires but makes the strong fire roar and flourish. The poet says that being friends with wind is good and we should praise him every day. Thus, the poem conveys the idea that nobody cares for the weak. Even the wind is on the side of the strong people. We must make ourselves strong and become successful and overcome the challenges in the life. Time to look at the literary devices used in the poem. First one is anaphora. Anaphora is when a word is repeated at the start of two or more consecutive lines. In this poem, 
lines 2 3 and 4 begin with don't lines 6 7 and 8 begin with you so these are the examples of anaphora next personification win has been personified in this poem when the poet refers to it with you repetition the word crumbling is repeated many times to lay emphasis so repetition is used here alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound in close connection next comes symbolism symbolism means a thing refers to some other thing in this poem the poet says wind and refers to the challenges which we face in the life so wind is a symbolism children i hope you enjoy learning this poem if you like this poem press the like button and leave a comment for me in the comment box i'll meet you in another video thank you and bye bye